Okay, so here we are with the Bootstrap template opened. Uh, this is just a basic kind of template example, something that we kind of used to do in Web 1. We have pretty much everything um, ready to go for a, a normal web page, but nothing on it. Now, this does have an H1 tag right here that says Hello World in between the body, so that's the only thing that shows up. But um, let me go ahead and open that up. I'm going to click it. Again, it's in the same level as these three folders. And it's talking to a couple of things in those folders. And there it is right there. So now we're gonna go back. I just, I'll keep that open so I can keep refreshing it. Go back to my, uh, my uh, text wrangler document. I'm going to um, get rid of hello world and in Bootstrap, again, you're going to make a div with a, a class name of container, and then each row is going to be called row, a class name of row, and then you're going to decide on uh, um, how many columns you need to design what you what you need to design. Um, in Bootstrap, it all runs by class names, and sometimes, occasionally, we'll have more than one class name. Um, and they'll be separated by a space, and the computer will recognize the uh, space uh, and will keep them separate. So we can work off a whole bunch of different types of class names um, within uh, the, uh, the div area that we want to work with. So let me show you how that is. I'm putting my cursor in between the body tag, just, just below where it starts and opens up. I'm going to uh, make a div give it a class name equals and in quotation marks the word container and we're gonna work off a naming structure that bootstrap is set up for so I'm gonna hit the return key and I'm gonna close off the div I always want you to open and close divs whatever they are um, before you ever put anything in them because that way you'll remember that you, that you did close it um, again, here's our jQuery JavaScript connection here. Notice it's placed before we close the body. Okay? So we're going to put all of our HTML and our columns and rows above it. Okay, so we have a container. I'm going to make our first row inside the container. We're going to say div class equals row. Again, hit the return key close it off. I like to make comments. I'm going to make you uh, put comments at the, at the closing of rows. So that because this is our first row, a comment is a left angle bracket, exclamation point, dash, dash, and then the comment. Closing of first row, and then a dash, dash, and the right angle bra uh, bracket. And notice that the comment that I just made, because of the way I typed it out, is in gray and that means that the you can read it um, in your document but the computer won't read it and it's just a good thing to do because when you're making websites and web pages with um, especially with bootstrap you'll have lots of open and closed divs and it and it's really gets uh, it can really lose organization quickly so there's our first row now I'm gonna put in again I think I said in the last video you can go up to 12 columns and, and Bootstrap has a naming structure to decide how many columns you want. So div class equals, and here's the naming structure, call, the, le the word call, dash, and then I can decide on when it will break. Um, they give you four basically media queries or breaks, um, LG, MD for medium, LG for large, SM for small, and XS for extra small. The LG will um, collapse um, basically first um, at a certain um, device width, whatever your device width display is. And I'll kind of show you what that's all about. I'm going to use MD for now, and I'm going to say 12. Okay, so I'm all set. I have a, a, a column that spans 12 across 
in the first row and I'm going to put an h1 tag h1 and just say this is the first row okay so if I look at this I'm going to right click and I'll reload it so there it is right there this is the first row now I can um, if I want to uh, let's say color this row I could uh, the way we're going to do it is we're going to build a separate style sheet and I'm going to give typically this row an ID name so and again an ID name a class name you can use more than once on a page and that's why that's why this grid system is built with class names because you can use the same name more than once as many times as you want an ID name on a page the rule is you can only use it once so I'm going to give this first row notice I'm inside the uh, right angle bracket uh, ID equals uh, row underscore one okay and as I said we're gonna basically uh, use this ID name to basically design this first row okay so let me show you how that works I'm gonna go uh, file new and before I do anything I'm gonna go file save and here's our index folder now we're gonna call this style.css now we're gonna store it not here but actually inside this CSS folder that has all of our other CSS folders that we might want to use for bootstrap so style okay now we haven't connected it yet but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say number sign um, sorry row one and I'm using the number sign because it's an ID name and let me up the uh, display font here and I'll say background and I'll just use uh, number sign CCC just a light gray okay now we haven't connected this style.css to our web page but we'll do it now you see uh, where it says bootstrap go ahead and copy the comment bootstrap and the link relationship link to link this uh, the bootstrap min file go ahead and copy that and maybe it really doesn't matter but below it do um, instead of the word bootstrap I pasted the whole thing I just copied say uh, style sheet and instead of again we place the thing we just made the style.css into this CSS folder we're gonna change this name bootstrap to style okay and now it's connected so when I go and I double click so there it is right there we, we basically just just styled that first row okay now the thing we haven't done is we haven't uh, messed around with the h1 tag um, let me show you how easy it is to take any kind of text that you have and place it in the middle using a class name that bootstrap will use to place things in the middle of that area whether it's a column or a full row okay so here we go I'm gonna go back um, down to my coding here and here is my h1 tag and inside the h1 tag I'm gonna put my cursor hit the space bar and I'm gonna say class equals and in quotation marks text dash center and text dash center was made up by bootstrap to basically place things make it easy to place things in the middle so I'm gonna save it I think I have the page open here it is right here I'm going to uh, reload it and voila there it is right there okay now I want to do one more thing that's the first row what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this row okay I'm gonna 
highlight the whole thing and copy it. I want to stay inside. That's the closing of my container. In fact, let's go ahead and make a comment. Okay, that we close the container because we always want to stay above that. Okay, so I copied that whole thing. And here's my comment to close it. Because this is now going to be the second row, I'm going to make sure that my comment is correct. Closing of the second row. I'm going to say row two. Okay. And what we're going to do is let's make this an H2 uh, tag. I guess we can do H1. We can keep it H1. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make three columns in this second row. Okay. Now remember that in a row you can have up to 12 columns. And this one we have 12 columns. It has to add up to 12. But So what I'm going to do is on the second row I'm going to go 4, 4, 4. Okay. So right now here's my first column of four. I'm going to save it. I'm going to paste one right below it. So that's up to eight. And again, I have to go up to 12. And then I'm going to go three of those, four, four, four. Okay. And I'm also going to um, color each column. Okay. Even though I gave this an ID name of row two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside this class name for the first column, hit the space bar, and notice that my cursor is inside the quotation mark. I'm going to say first call. Okay. Now again, there's a space between this class name that's using Bootstrap and this class name that's going to color the background of this first column. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing down here. And instead of first call, second call, and then here's the third one, third call. So again, I have multiple class names working. This first one is using the naming structure for the grid. And this, we're going to create different colors for each of this, this, these areas here. Okay? So I'm going to, um, I think I saved it. Go ahead and save it. I'm going to go into my style sheet that's connected. And I have a first call, open curly brackets, close the curly brackets. I'm going to say background. And let's say, um, I don't even know what this is, but let's say CC9, okay? And that'll be the, for the first call. I'm gonna copy that whole coding right there, paste it, change the first call name to second call, change this. Again, I don't really know what color that is. Hopefully it's a color. And then do one for the third one, third call. Okay, and again, I'll change the, the color again. Um, CC6. And we'll see what color those are. Colors those are. I'm going to save it. I think I have the page um, loaded. I'm going to reload it because I made some changes. And there you go. Okay, now watch. Because it says call MD, it's going to wait for a certain amount of time before it does that. Okay? And it'll stay like that. If I want to change the uh, change when it breaks, or whatever the device with it, that's MD. Let's go to SM. I'm going to go in my coding here. Go to my um, column uh, MD4, and let's make this SM. And 
and I'll save it and I'll update my page. Now they haven't changed, but now where it was breaking, let's say right, right there, it's going to take a little bit longer to break. Okay, and that's the difference. The LG, it'll, it'll barely move in a little bit and then break on top of each other. MD, it broke about right there. And then SM, again, it gets a little smaller. If I go to XS, it'll go all the way in before it breaks. In fact, on my computer, I can't really get it in all the way. And my, my guess is, is that XS, it won't even break before it gets down to uh, a small device width. So I'm going to save it. Again, update it. And again, with the MD, it was breaking about there. SM, it was about there. And XS doesn't even break. It will if, if uh, for some reason I can get this down smaller. Just a little bit more, it'll go on top of each other. Okay, so that's the, really the difference between LG, MD, SM, and XS. Okay? Okay, so that was just a, a little bit. Um, we'll do a lot of live presentations in this, but this kind of shows you how to set it up and kind of how to start to make uh, the grid. Um, online, if you go to um, W3Schools, they have a whole Bootstrap 3 area, and they have all these great examples of stuff. I've also... Um, found a lot of um, other bootstrap great uh, tutorials. Here's one called Tutorial Republic and they have a whole introduction to bootstrap 3 and some of the cool things you can do. Okay? So, uh, and here's a cheat sheet that I found at Creative Live. You can just do a search for bootstrap 3 reference or bootstrap 3 cheat sheet. Okay, that's it. Thanks.